never been accused of being too polite. <laughs> and if I did mind my manners, it was an egregious mistake. <laughs> You see, I've been cursed with a penchant for mirth. And whatever amuses me, I give a wide berth. The truth may dismay. It's rigid and rude, but endowed, it will sparkle, shine, and pop. Some say it's lying. I say we do what we need to in order to survive. An ordinary sequence of boring events becomes a palatable journey with death and nuance. <laughs> when I came catapulting into my body from ether and physics and life force and fairy dust. <laughs> Just kidding. I eschewed my lackluster surroundings and clung to the participles of ridiculous disparity, exaggeration, and folly. My brain became sour apple bubblegum, chewing on the sweet, sticky possibilities of circumstance, <laughs> blowing enormous aromatic bubbles that would pop all over my face with no apologies for sticky residue. <laughs> I built my life raft of inappropriateness and I navigated the torrential waters of pain, disappointment, and family. <laughs> and when I finally conquered the river of me, I pulled my life raft ashore. And there I stood. I was too big, too fat, too loud, too silly, too obnoxious, too <laughs> crass, too sexual, too much. But I held my head up high and I said, if you can't take me, then don't. <laughs> and that is where I stand. <laughs>